All right. We're riding home. It is like 55 degrees. Um, beautiful night. Except for all these drivers. <laughs> the only thing that ruins New York. Um, all right, well, we're rolling. I'm gonna take 6th Avenue up. Haven't gone this way at night in a while. I'm taking the subway home. Try this out, see how, see how it goes. Let's see. What can we discuss today? Um, going up uh, Sixth Avenue here, where it's a protected bike lane until you hit 40th Street or 30, 34th, I think, and then that's it. You're on your own. And then you're dead. Um, all right, let's see. Anything to talk about? I don't know if I have anything to talk about that I didn't already talk about this morning. Still in a t-shirt this time. Not wearing gloves. Whoa, whoa, Jesus Christ. Didn't even realize that I almost hit her. That woman has just sort of ran out. It's also how, like, cyclists, you can get really hurt. Cars here are just police vans with nobody in them, just parking. Just parking for police vans. Um, not really sure what's going on though. But anyway. I do think there's a great idea in uh, in uh, buttons that just scream. So you press a button, it's like, oh, you're right. Or like.
lake. You're in the Berkeley! Or something like something like that where you don't have to yell all the time or use a whistle or a horn or whatever. Whoa, that guy's on a scooter just. This dude's on a scooter just. Let me see. Wow. That's no joke. This whole, oh man, like look at this, look at this area. Just imagine what this would be like with no cars. You know, you don't have to imagine that hard. You already have these like sort of car free little, little carved out spaces with stones and stuff. But it's like all designed like this just to accommodate these four lanes of car traffic. When really like if you just had one, you don't need so much. Uh, oh boy, she just told that guy to stop. Now he's completely in the crosswalk. Are you going to ticket this guy? Oh, this woman. EVJ1223. That's a pretty shitty move by that driver. Alright, excuse, excuse me. I think of, uh, oh yeah, yeah. So 35th Street goes from a protected lane to a not protected lane anymore. Think of uh, Seth Meyers when he does Trump speaking uh, Italian. Mm, scusi. Mm, scusi. <laughs> That's funny. Please don't throw open a door. Everybody, please don't. Thank you. Awesome. Scusi. Um, talking to a coworker about how you know, these studies that show the particulate matter, which is basically like small, like fine uh, particles, generally they come from tailpipe emissions, and I think from tires. You know, because when tires go through over pavement, little bits of the um, of the rubber get thrown up and they're sort of microscopic and um, and of course they all land in your throat and in your lungs basically how terrible particulate particulates are um, and that it's still better like the benefit of uh, of uh, biking is generally better, right? It's, it's, the benefit of biking outweighs the damage to your lungs and all that. But uh, anyway, a coworker was saying how really, really awful the uh, this stuff actually is for you, um, which uh, I believe. In fact, I was part of a study from Columbia in 2017. It's actually still going on. It was mentioned. Um, and uh, where we basically put on, oh, this guy, 3D22. Why is this guy moving? Why are you doing that? Why are you honking? Why are you honking? What do you, you want him to go? But it's loud for me. Keep it down. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> um, so this guy, honking at this guy. Making noise. And nobody really knows where the hell they're going. Nobody knows what they're doing. Meanwhile, if you're in a bike, you would have a much easier ride. Please don't open your car door in 
to my bike. Thank you. And scusi. Scusi. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Assholes. I know, I must look like I'm weaving in and out of traffic, but I'm really not. I think what you miss from the videos here is just how everybody is. It's that the cars are actually weaving. Like here, this guy is moving. He's moving this way. He's moving that way. You got to make sure that you're not going to get run over by, you know, an SUV or these giant trucks. The buses don't look. This guy's definitely not looking. JPF 8903. Um, and now your brake pad just created a little bit of particulate matter for me to breathe in. Oh, this guy's on a FaceTime call. Who's that? Who's that? Your wife? Girlfriend? Girlfriend? <laughs> daughter! Oh, sorry, I, I, I saw a little bit. So I FaceTime with his daughter. <laughs> um, love it. <laughs> um, I shouldn't be, but uh, I'm not going to report you. I like making connections with uh, all of my fellow drivers. Oh boy. There you go. Um, and here we are. We're moving right along. This is a pretty fast route. We're at 50th Street already. Really hope nothing happens in the next 10 blocks. I'm gonna look behind me. Taking up a full lane. Oh, that's nice. It's like repaved here. I'm gonna go this way. Please don't hit me. Going this way. Um, got a giant MTA bus on my tail. No, he's two lanes over. Woo! Let's see what we got here. Don't hit, don't hit. And we got the green. Oh, we're going to get through this. Oh, look at this. What do we have here? <laughs> I'm curious what this driver's situation is. Just look back here. Pennsylvania, 3326664. Interesting. Uber. Interesting. What's up? Um, all right, where are we here? We're 56th Street. Got four blocks to we're in Central Park. In fact, let's count the lanes. One, two, three, four, five, six lanes for cars. Zero lanes for bikes. Zero lanes for bikes and six lanes for cars. That's pretty shitty, right? And you got these super narrow sidewalks for pedestrians, which sucks if you're a pedestrian. This guy's honking. This guy's honking. Through it together. All right. Um, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this out. I don't have a whole lot more to say, except that Central Park is fantastic. You can see right away, or you can hear right away, how quiet it is. There are no cars 
in Central Park. Can you still hear a little bit of honking? We're here in the outdoors. <laughs> Maybe if you look and you're very quiet, you can find a cyclist <laughs> in their natural environment. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> no, here you got great. Everybody comes out. I don't know how like serious you are. You got a serious cyclist. You got commuting cyclists. You got casual. You got runners. You got walkers. You got everybody in between. What you don't got are drivers and cars. So it's just not psychotic here. It's not really dangerous here. I think that's what you notice right away. It's also, especially in the summer, it's noticeably cooler. The temperature in the park, as you might imagine, with no cars, far less asphalt, far more tree coverage, is just a much cooler place by temperature. As a measure of temperature, it's very, very wet as a function of moisture. <laughs> I don't know, I forgot what Trump said. Very, very wet from a perspective of water. It's very, very cool from a perspective of temperature. <laughs> um, fucking Trump. <laughs> okay, not gonna talk about him. But that is the truth that uh, parks are really important, particularly in the global warming era where our average temperatures are significantly higher. Um, I mean, think about it. It's 60 degrees in February, right? It basically didn't snow this summer, uh, this winter. Something to keep in mind, right? It's, it's New York City. There's always snow here in the winter. It's freezing in the winter. Except it never really got that cold. Uh, it didn't really stop me from biking, to be honest. And that's really where I cut. I'll draw the line pretty easily and not bike when it drops really cold. Like last winter, I think there was a day where it was like negative 20 degrees or something. Really, really cold wind chill. And there were a bunch of cyclists that came out of Central Park to uh, I forget what, either celebrate car free Central Park or raise awareness for cross town bike lanes. Either way, I was like, would love to come. Definitely am not coming. Way too cold. Even with my big boy jacket and everything, it was, it was freezing. Um, never even came close to a day like that yet. We don't know. Still got all of February and and uh, March, so it could happen, but yeah, it's way warmer. And so anyway, so that's why these parks are, they provide an extremely valuable resource to a city, right? That cities are generally covered in asphalt and buildings and material that absorbs heat. So as temperatures go up, you need cooling effects. You need things that can cool the city. And a giant central park is a great thing. Car-free areas, also a great thing. Car-free Broadway would be a great thing. A car-free Park Avenue would be a great thing. All these things would be, are vital for a future of, you know, temperature increasing so that, you know, you get far more days that are 100 degree days in the winter, in the summer um, to give you some cooling, and some real, uh, reprieve from the heat. Obviously not an issue in the winter. We just have these mild winters now. But something that the city was smart would be like, you know what? Let's see if we can do the equivalent of Central Park, but make Broadway a park, right? make Park Avenue an actual park. Oh, uh, they call it, I forgot what they call it, like a, um, a uh, you know, it's a park through the city. Um, other European cities have this. It's crazy, we don't have anything like this. We don't have like a boulevard that's actually like fully 
you know, a park that just runs through the center of the city where people can bike and walk and sit under a tree. We don't really have anything like that. The city of the mayor was, uh, had a spine, was willing to do something. That's a great idea. Um, could start by re replacing car parking with anything else. Trees on street, garbage collection, bike corrals, um, parklets, you name it. Loading zones, obviously, all kinds of things. But we won't do that for another 10 years. Anyway, all right, that is all I got. I'm gonna cut this a little short because I just went up this hill and I'm tired. Thanks for watching Bike Talk NYC. See you again tomorrow. Like and subscribe.